Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a hero section for the home page of your blogger website. Now, this hero section won't be visible in any other page of your blogger website except the home page. So, this is the design that we're going to be using as the hero section. This is a simple design. You can go ahead and make changes and turn it into something you need. Alright, so let's get started. First of all, we are going to design this uh, in VS Code as always and I have this project open called Hero Section and I also have this images folder where I have this image for our background. Now let's go ahead and start by creating a new file. So let's click on new file and we'll uh, name it index.html and we'll create one more file for the CSS, style.css. Right, so let's start with the index file and uh, in VS Code, you have this uh, shortcut where you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll get this starter code for HTML. All right, let's link our CSS file over here. Now, let's start by creating a division for containing everything. So, we will just give it a class of hero section container. And in that, we'll create a paragraph and we'll give it a class of hero subheading. And we'll just type learn everything about blogger and the blogger has a different styling over here so for that we will uh, add a span to this blogger word and uh, we'll also give it a class so that we can access that and style it in our CSS so let's create a span and uh, give it a class of red and uh, we'll just cut the ending tag from here and uh, paste it after the blogger word all right let's open this in our browser this is our design as of now. Now let's go ahead and create a new division with a class of buttons container where we will add both the buttons. So for the buttons we will have an anchor tag and uh, here you can type in the link that you want the user to be taken when you click on the button. But for now I'll just type hash and uh, we'll give it a class of btn and uh, here we'll type downloads and we'll just duplicate this line of code and uh, here we'll just type no more so that's basically it with the HTML now let's go to our style.css and uh, let's start styling this uh, hero section first of all we'll target the hero section container and uh, we'll give it a background and by default it will have a black color and then we'll also add an image so we'll type url and here you can type the url of the image so in our case it is images slash hero bg now let's go ahead and give it a height of 260 pixels and we'll set the width to 100 percent now we want everything to be centered vertically and horizontally so we'll just set the display to flex and we'll type align items to center and justify content to center and uh, we'll set the color of the text to white and now we can see that uh, these elements are one next to the other so we have to change the flex direction so we'll type flex direction to column and uh, we'll also give it a font family of roboto all right that's basically it with the hero section container now let's go ahead and style the paragraph so here we'll type hero section container p and uh, we'll give it a font size of 24 pixels and margin top of 0 and margin bottom of 30 pixels All right now let's style the red class that we created for this blogger word so I'll type hero section container red and uh, we will set the background to c20f0f now let's give it a padding of 4 pixels top and bottom 10 pixels left and right and we'll also give it a margin of 8 pixels All right now let's style the buttons so we'll type hero section container a dot btn and for the button we'll give a background color of ffd970 
we'll set the padding to 8 pixels top and bottom 24 pixels left and right and we'll get rid of the underline so text decoration to none and we'll set the color of the text to black and we'll also give it a margin of 0 for top and bottom 8 pixels for left and right and uh, we'll also give it a border radius we'll set the border radius to 0 pixels and 8 pixels and uh, now let's add a hover effect so that uh, when we hover over this uh, we'll change the color of the button so we'll tap hero section container a dot btn colon hover and uh, we'll just change the background color so we'll tap background and uh, we'll set it to FCE FCC. So now we can see that the background color is changing. We'll also add a transition so that uh, it will have a smooth animation. Transition background of 400 milliseconds. So we can see that uh, the color is changing. All right, that's basically it with the design of our hero section. Now let's see how to add this to the home page of our blogger website. I have logged into my blogger dashboard. Let's go ahead and view our blog. This is how it looks right now. Now we'll go ahead and add the hero section right here after this heading. And uh, if we'll go to the post or any other page, we won't be having the hero section. It'll be just this heading. And uh, when we go to the home page, we'll have the hero section. We'll add a widget for the HTML and um, then we will add it in our layout so let's go to layout now just go ahead and click on add a gadget and uh, then select html slash javascript now here you can add your content so let's go to our uh, source code and uh, we'll just copy this html and we'll just paste it over here and then click on save now this is the hero section and uh, we have added it as a widget. Now let's drag this and uh, put it just below the heading of our header section. Now just go ahead and save it. And our changes have been saved. Now we need to add the CSS. But before that let's uh, go to our CSS and uh, here we can see that we have added the link of the image over here. But this link is not available in our blogger website. So we have to first of all upload the image and after that get the link of the image and then paste it over here in the URL. So for that let's go to pages and we'll just create a dummy page just for the link of the image. And we'll just click on insert image and click on upload from computer. And then click on choose files and this is our image. Let's select that and click on open. And this is the image. Let's go to the HTML and uh, get the link of the image. So click on this button and click on HTML view. And uh, in the anchor tag in the href we can see the link of the image. And uh, just copy this. And uh, let's publish this. Now let's go to theme and click on customize. And then go to advanced and then go to add CSS and we'll just copy the link over here All right so now let's go ahead and uh, copy this whole CSS from here and we'll paste it over here and instead of this uh, link of the image we'll just copy and paste this link and we can see that already it is working so let's click on apply to blog and back to blogger so let's go to our website and refresh our page so here we can see our hero section is visible and everything is working all right but now when we go to a post we can see that it is visible over here as well but we don't want it to be visible over here we just want the hero section to be visible on the home page so let's see how to do that we'll go to our theme and then go over here to the options and click on edit html now just click on this button called jump to widget and uh, we'll search for our widget so the widget we had placed was under the header so this is the widget html1 
just click on that and we can see that this is the widget we have the hero section container and everything written over here so let's see where this content is being shown in our uh, theme now if you take a look at this we can see that this is a widget setting and the name is content and in that we have all this content and if you scroll down we can see that it is being included over here we can see data content so this is the line of code which shows our hero section on the screen now here we can add an if condition and set it to just display on the home page so for that you have to use this if condition so just type this line of code less than b colon if this is for the if condition in a blogger theme c o n d for condition and equals and here you have to type data colon blog dot url equals data colon blog dot home page url and close the single quotes and uh, greater than symbol and then we have to end the if condition over here after this line of code so we'll type less than forward slash b colon if so this will end the if condition now after this just go ahead and save the theme and we can see our theme has been updated successfully now let's go ahead and uh, refresh our page and we can see the hero section is being visible over here on the home page now let's go to another page and here we can see that the hero section is not being visible so that's basically how you add a hero section to the home page of your blogger website so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day